What's up, everybody? Matt and Uzzo, we're here at Real to talk to you about the Nash Hovers. Nash Hovers, these things are so sweet. Look at them, they just look awesome. Uh, this is definitely the best uh, kite foil board that, uh, that uh, Nash is making. Um, this is the 112, it is a tiny little chip of a board. Uh, if you're using this board, you are a good foil boarder. You're gonna be riding the foil and you're gonna be seeing the foil. It'll be like, literally like riding on the back of a dolphin. Uh, it's totally, it'll be totally awesome. Uh, this board, they've done a, a few improvements to it, also added another size to it. So um, they've added this really high gloss paint job. Got some nice beveled rails here, which are really sweet killer kicktail on the tail pad. Uh, you definitely, on a board this small, you wanna have traction all the way to the nose and have a kicktail on the back because uh, this is best ridden strapless, is most fun riding strapless, and you're gonna use all of this space. And if you don't have this kicktail on here, your feet are gonna go off the back and you're gonna go flying. Um, it does have inserts for putting, you know, centerline foot straps, side foot straps, uh, if you wanna do that. Uh, the 112 is really limited to people that are really good foil boarders and that, you know, wanna have a board this small. Transitioning this board is tiny, it's super thin, there's no volume, um, you know, it's gonna be super maneuverable, really easy to pack and ride and everything. Uh, it's gonna be super fun. They are using behind a boat too. Um, so it's good for kind of pumping off a dock or behind a boat so you can kind of multi-sport it. The one that we you know, are recommending is the 127 just because it's just still a very small board um, but it's more usable. It has a, a little more surface area on it. Um, you know, it's just gonna be more usable for more people. Uh, again, this board is thin, it's lightweight, they're durable. They're just really beautiful foil boards. I've been so stoked on these. They, they ride kind of unlike anything out there. You want to kind of be an intermediate or advanced foiler in if behind the boat, on the kite, or, or just pumping off the dock if you're going to be getting one of these. But if you're in that space, this board is a trip to ride. Super fun, and they did a great job with the construction. Awesome pad quality, and uh, you know, again, having the inserts uh, make it make it a good all-around board. It is a track setup, so you want to make sure you you have the track hardware uh, to to fit this board. And um, they're a great great setup. If you want to buy this board, you can go to RealWaterSports.com, and we'll see you guys on the water.